In this video, we're running prints, testing new colors, setting up a slick magnet tool, and hitting a snag with our latest 3D puzzle. Now, one of the products I'm tinkering with has a lot of magnets in it. So, made these little magnet dispensers. Um, they're off Maker World, I can link it down below. But we're waiting on the magnets, so I can't show you how they work yet. We're gonna wait a couple of hours for the magnets to arrive. So in the meantime, we'll clear off all the build plates. We got magnets, so let's give it a crack. Now, yeah. ah, oh, that's clever. Okay, to make sure the magnets are already always in the same orientation. I have to glue one in there. So that stops them falling back out. Drop a little bit of glue. There we go. So now, you load the magnets in, you can see the pen can, they're controlled. So you just hold it, snap one in, snap one in. Try this. Oh. Smart move draw. So you should be able to put a drop in there. No, yeah, that didn't work. Sort of working. I have to get better at this. Need some practice. So quick update, these magnets are crap. Uh, short version, they are 1.8 mil. They're not coming up at two mil each. What that means is for every 10 of them, they are completely out of whack. So let's pull one out. I'll show you what I mean. So they are coming in at roughly 1.8 instead of two mil. The way to check this is there's one there. So let's go, that's three, four, five, six. That makes it 10. No, that'll be 11 in there. Take one out because we have one too many. Can't do this with strong magnets, but weak ones you can just pick them up. The strong ones they destroy themselves. So if they were 
Hey, let me turn this around. Whee. So if these were two mil, that should be two centimeters. It's 10 magnets. That is not two centimeters. That is nowhere near it. So they're all going back and I will order from somewhere else. My advice, don't buy those magnets. Damn it. One of the issues that creates is I really needed those magnets. I've been waiting to do these products for about a week and a half, two weeks while those magnets arrived. So I'm now going to print all the bits I need for these in batch and just now I've got to wait two weeks. So I'm going to do two weeks of printing ahead, put them aside and then just have a two day magnet session when they arrive. Um, and this is nuts because we're also going away at Easter. So I've got a eight, 10 day downtime while I'm away. I was hoping to have all these done into Amazon. So while I'm away, Amazon's sending the orders out. So I don't think we're going to hit that deadline means there's going to be a go away come back two week delay see what we can do but yeah you know if it was easy everyone would do it and you always get little snafus but this little tool way has been good um i've just got to print different colored caps so it can be north south mark all right we've got some spools here that need to be loaded in because these are new colors and we don't have samples of them and I need to open two anyway. So we're just gonna run them all through quickly, get the swatches done so we can get back on with printing overnight. back it is really cold out here but we're not out here for long so i'm not going to put heaters or anything on um i just want to work out how to assemble these little things i'm not even looking at the instructions i think it's simple enough and then after that we will head back inside and we'll send some more prints out to the printers So these, these are for me to load magnets in. This makes it a little bit quicker. These are some little 3D puzzles. There we go. All right, so let's have a look at these. Torsos, legs, torso, torso. Two. All right, sort of makes sense. So first things first, all colors, we're gonna put these ones in. Okay. So it's a tiny little, like a tiny little drop. Now let me bring that in, maybe it focuses so you can see just how small a drop I use. There you go. So this pushes the magnets in and out. So magnet in. And push it with your thumb. And it's in. And that's it. That's how I make them.
Gorilla Glue gel I'm using. And I like the gel. I didn't at first when I was using it. I'll stick a link down below for anyone else that wants to try it. Um, the trick with this is when you get it, you're going to struggle to get it out. You'll be like, ah, oh, it doesn't come out. You'll be pushing it and just frustrated. Treat it like a sauce bottle, like that. And now if you look, all the glue is down the bottom. As we're, if I do it that way, you can see all, sorry, all the glue is now here. And that's because it sits upright. So before you use it, give it a shake. You can see all the glue has now moved down here. And then that's it. Got real frustrated when I first went to use it because I thought, oh, the glue's partially cured, or this is crap. Why are people recommending it? That was just a mistake on my part on how I was using it. I've also got this stuff, and I use this on a lot of things. However, um, I find it leaves, it leaves a white residue when it's finished, especially on PLA. Um, yeah, and it's quite loose. They do have what they call a th a thick one, but my concern is it's with it's not like the gel. With the gel, what I do like is like now I can put glue on all these parts, and I can just if they're sitting upside down or whatever, the glue doesn't come out. As I'm worried if it's a more liquid form, even though it says thick, if I do put glue on and leave them upside down it'll start to it'll start to leak out all right last ones for these back they're done they're all done all the magnets are in um, don't want to put one together well should probably let them sit a bit longer but let's try it so Front, tail, let's have a look which way does the tail go, right, so it goes that way, There we have it. It is a 3D magnetic puzzle. I said really not suitable for young kids because I'll just put this back on the on a tripod here. Like these are super sharp. Let me get one that's not attached to something in. Alright, there's the glove. Let's have a look. Okay, like you can see. So they're not things I'd be recommending anywhere near for kids. 
maybe some of the other models might not be as sharp, but they're typically made from polygons. That's why they're designed. They're really cool. But with sharp edges like this, yeah. So the cat is done. It's a little kit in this one. And I did have a pure white. That's a bit of glove that's got glue on it and rubbed off, so I'll get that off later. I did have a pure white, but I've got more of this normal white, so we've we've just gone with that. I've gotten this wrong. Have a look at this. So this is what happens when you get it wrong. It refuses to stay on. So, so I think I've put that magnet in back to front, but because of how many magnets there are actually, we can check that. If this goes on, then the magnet in the gray is back to front. Let's have a look. No, so the magnet in here is incorrect. But if I swap that, that's going to be three magnets. I have four magnets. I have to redo one, two, three, four, because you can't get them out. So I'd have to reprint this and do four magnets. It's actually now we're going to have one piece that's back to front. We're going to do this piece. If I can dig that magnet out, excellent. But if I can't... So I need to reprint just that piece for that one. But otherwise, there we go. It's our four little kittens. Pretty cool. Um, we're going to reprint this piece and then we're going to stick another round of samples in and then products and then go to bed. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed that. That was just putting together these little kittens which are a 3d puzzle which is pretty cool like i said so sharp these edges definitely not for kids um at markets as well i'd th this is the sort of thing if it was on display i'd worry about kids spiking themselves because quite easily i can draw blood out of that if i just push hard enough so you could round the with a negative part you could probably round the tops of the ears off and i think if I think if the ears were rounded off, if they weren't as pointy, then, and it was a bit like the rest of it, I think it would be much better. I don't know the aesthetic if they weren't pointy, but I really think that, yeah, that due to the pointiness of the, the ears, this is not a model for kids. That could actually really hurt. Um, but there are some others that aren't pointy like this, so six of one, half a dozen of the other. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this. Thanks for hanging out. In the next video, the workspace gets cleared, filaments get compared, and the multi-board tiles finally claim their place on the wall. Subscribe now. This is where it starts to come together.